Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get super real about sex. And today we're gonna be getting oh so real about dildos, or more specifically, DIY dildos. So if that sounds good to you, then you should definitely keep on watching. So, full confession, before I got into this weird, wonderful world of sex toys and owned more sex toys than where I honestly have enough room to store at the moment, there was actually a time in my life when I didn't own a vibrator or a dildo. When I didn't own a vibrator or a dildo. And during that time, I found myself in a position where I was masturbating and wanted something that would feel like a dildo without at the time having access to one. And that was when I created, unknowingly, my very first version of a DIY dildo. Actually, as it turns out, there are lots of just everyday household items that are really safe and easy to use as dildos. DIY dildos if you know what you're doing. And so that's what I'm going to be going into in today's video. I'm going to be going into how you can use just normal objects that pretty much everyone has sitting in their house to create your own sex toy and the things that you should be avoiding or looking out for in order to make sure that when you're doing this, you do it safely. So let's get into the first thing that you need to do before you go ahead and make your own DIY dildo. A condom and some lube. These are two non-negotiables that you need to have handy if you want to go ahead and make a DIY dildo. And that's because, first of all, a condom is going to create a safe barrier between you and the object that you're using to make your DIY toy. And that's really important, particularly if it is made out of a material that could be porous or could potentially attract bacteria into it. You don't certainly don't want to end up with any kind of an infection. So a condom is going to protect you for the most part from that. You do obviously want to make sure that the condom is safe, that it's not broken, you're not using an old condom, but you definitely, when you're using any kind of DIY dildo, want to always be covering it up with a condom. And then lube is super important because it's going to make the entry of that object that you're using for your DIY dildo a lot more smooth and comfortable. You're obviously going to want to avoid potentially breaking or tearing the condom. And that is most likely to happen when you're not lubricated enough. So whether you're using it anally or vaginally, you should be popping on plenty of lube. And as a general rule of thumb, I usually say that if you're using something anally, you should be using about twice the amount of lube that you would use vaginally. And that's because the anus is not self lubricating. So no matter how horny you are, your anus is not going to get wet, which means you need to keep some lube at hand. My recommendation is to put lube in the actual orifice. So your anus or vagina or your partner's anus or vagina and on the condom as well. That way you're going to be ensuring a smooth entry and comfortable use. So what are some items that you can repurpose as dildos and what are some items that you should stay away from? I'm going to break down a list now and then I'm going to go through some slightly more advanced ones that you can make yourself. But in terms of an item that you can use straight away with a condom on top of it, here are a few ideas. The handle of a hairbrush, a banana, a toothbrush case, the handle of a makeup brush, a mascara bottle, a Sharpie marker, a TV remote, a cucumber, a zucchini, a shampoo bottle, the handle of a screwdriver or a hammer, and the handle of a tennis racket. So once you've got the item, you obviously want to be getting something that's a size that you feel comfortable with. You can simply use it by just putting a condom straight on top of it like so. And now that it's covered, you want to go ahead and pop on some lubricant 
like so and then you can just cover the entire object like that and then it is ready to use when you're looking for items to repurpose as a diy dildo you want to be staying away from anything that has a sharp or hard edge because that can cause potential damage to you in Internally, potentially considering that the tissue inside the vagina and the anus is very delicate and very prone to tearing. So here is a list of some of the objects you want to stay away from using. Anything that can break off inside you, such as a candle or a soft item of food, anything sharp like a cutlery item or a cooking spatula or implement, and anything which may attract bacteria or mold. Now, if you want to get really advanced, I'm going to show you how you can actually make a dildo from scratch that's going to be extra comfortable and really look and feel like a real dildo that you could go online and pay serious money for. And it involves some of the objects I mentioned earlier that are safe to use and some additional padding and a condom. So let's go through a few of my personal favorites. a few fun ideas of ways to create your own sex toys safely when you're in a bind whether it's that you're trying to save money or you found yourself in a position where your vibrator or a dildo is left at someone else's house or you're just not able to get to it this will mean that you will be able to safely pleasure yourself in pretty much any situation. So give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you would like to see more DIY style videos like this. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more just like it, then do make sure if you're not already subscribed that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm here every week, three times a week, bringing you sex advice, relationship and dating advice, and a whole lot more. All right, guys, that is all for today. I will see you in the next video. Mwah.